Yeah, I was going to do a big unboxing unboxing of it, but it um, came in uh, last night. This one here, the Remora holster. Nice. Um, so you got a little 38 down there. It's my current carry. It's got the sweat shield on it, the inside. Good stiff carry holster for concealment. Nice. Um, I don't know what that is, but they went ahead and sent it also. This is what I'm doing with it right now. It's also part of my daily carry. A fossil made by CRKT. It's a good blade. Does nice. Uh, I guess with this one, if you really wanted to, and you really wanted to do something different, uh, let's say you plan a trip to the casino, and uh, you got your concealed carry license, your driver's license, and the money you're going to spend, you can just, I guess, slide it down in there and carry that instead of a regular wallet. Um, don't know. Haven't tried it yet. I will say the holster is great. It's got the, the inside, what it is, what it was made for. Um, a lot of guys tell me I should have got the shorter holster for the revolvers. Um... This one's a shorter holster. It's an ankle holster. I've worn it on the ankle a few times. This one is empty. And kids and wife are out playing, so I figured I'd come in and shoot one of these real quick. But it the triggers covered. Holds that quite nice. Also does a real good job. With the longer barrel, three inches. This one is my carry, so it is loaded. Um, you can play guessing games. That's uh, copper, Lehigh, 100 grain, positive expansion. That is a Sabre Gold Dot. They're mixed. So you can play guessing games. There's four of the Lehigh and one of the Golden Sabre. And I never really know which one's going to go. So, you know, if you feel lucky. But I carried this one for about six or eight hours yesterday in this holster. Okay. Um... I, I got to hand it to him. I didn't think it would be as good as what I've heard about him and what I've seen about him from everybody else. Um, maybe it's because it's brand new. But, of course, the cant can go any way you want it to go in inside your pant. Um, some say it's not a tuckable holster. And to a degree, yes it is, because I'll wear, of course, this was inside my pant. This was on a t-shirt, it was all inside my pants, and I had another shirt over it. So it can be a tuckable holster on its own. Okay. Um, the problem is, I noticed that when I went to pull the other shirt out, it caught real well. So, user discretion there, I guess. Um, but they are decent. Um, it does hold, like I said, does hold both of my revolvers. Okay. I can put them both in concealment. This is a little tougher to conceal because uh, the grip is so big on it. But there's a screw here. I can replace that grip with a smaller one. I don't think I want to do that. that that's a good grip there for that. They're both 38 special. 
Um, but dang good holster. I mean, so far. Day one, wear one. Mm, six hours. It held, it stayed. I'll do a couple more of these as I as I wear the holster in time and, and you know we'll see holster wear and stuff like that on it of course but um, primarily I'm going to be with the 38 just like that package there some say I should have took the shorter cut but I like the way that covers the, the trigger and the trigger well um, plus that I can set this inside my body almost at a can't or inside my body inside my pants at a can't of say 40 45 degrees you cannot see the grip at all under un, underneath a t-shirt or anything so that's I mean but of course it only cost me both of them they sent me both of them for like 28 bucks and that was with the shipping okay I'm not complaining one bit on it. I'm actually... This... eBay... Uh, hurry up and buy eBay, kinda. eBay, Amazon, whatever it was. Um, cut the, the flaps off. And put the pistol in there and it'll be a good like truck holster or bug out bag holster um maybe if you sewed the flaps to like a shirt okay sewed it to a shirt or something it'd be a decent holster but it you know of course it was only nine dollars i think and twelve with the shipping um I think the Remora is a lot better package. Um, just for what you, I know, um, 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 yeah, I know. I'm getting tired of that, but it helps me generate good thought and keep the cursing to a minimum. Because uh, I am trying to be a family oriented show. But. Maybe one day this uh, this spring or this summer I'll take them both out and showcase them in a shooting video. Um, I've had this one out. I'm real impressed with it. I mean, uh, it was all uh, a brushed aluminum, but I shined it up. I left the, the top a little to the brush side. Um just because with shooting and in the sun I didn't want to be blinded like this um, by the sun um, it is a Taurus 817 yes 817 I've had a few people look at it no it's a 617 That's, no it's not there is a difference the 817 is 38 special only. The 617 can shoot the 357 as well as the 38 special. 38 special, good. Short barrel. I mean, it's gonna, gonna hit you as hard as the 357. 1200 feet per second, 357. Well, 38 special. You hop up the powder a little bit, and you got the same thing. And it don't take much to do it. But, oh, yeah, it's pride and joy. Um, I got this thing a few years ago on a trade. Um, I think I like, what, what I traded off was like 200 $225, but it's a Rossi blued. It's still in its all original configuration. The three inches is a little hard to find now. 
I don't know why everybody wants to, I guess, just snubbies. But that, in a sense, is a snubby. I just, I like the longer barrel on it for some reason. Uh, of course, you have seven here. Or you got five with the other one. 